Right, I'm at a place, a camping caravan club site called Winter Meadows. On the, just outside Puxton, on the way towards Sanford now, on um, a cycling trip to try and get to Cheddar and Axbridge Reservoir to do a video. It's a beautiful sunny day. Um, it's about the 7th of March 2011 now. And here I am. I've just taken some more photos of Puxton Church from a completely different angle that, that I hadn't done before from along from Country Lane where the, you can see the leaning tower a lot clearer. But here I am, this is the beautiful countryside of Somerset. Obviously you've got those big pylons, but we tend to get used to them now. Little farms all around, little brooks and greens. And I'm going up a little single track lane now, heading over towards that dip there. Um, so I'm hoping to go up up on the strawberry line for a little bit towards Winscombe. That's the plan today for a bit of exploration. It's taking me just over an hour to get to Puxton from home with the wind against me. But it's a gorgeous day. I'm just going to do a little bit of video as I go along this track. And somebody's got a birthday. It's not a good idea, isn't it, having a flag with it on? Lovely. Maybe we've got the Mendips in front of us. Right, off we go. I mean, this could have been... I don't know if it was a railway track. I don't think so. I've heard that there was something at Puxton, though. The sheep graze him. It's a beautiful day today. It's a little, still a bit breezy, but it's not too bad. It's not as bad as it was the other day. I mean, I haven't been out on the bike for a couple of days, apart from going to see Zara. Just to rest up a bit. I've been plotting all my various circular routes I'm going to be doing. Um, all within range. Sometimes I have to get a train to Yatton or a train to Bridgewater. And... Uh, if I want to be really adventurous, I can get a train to Taunton and go that way as well. There's, you can go anywhere on your bike, really. It's more difficult to get over to Glastonbury Way. You literally have to cycle there. There's no railway line anymore. There's all the reeds. I say it's a beautiful day. There's some sheep all in there as well. All around there. It's lovely, isn't it? All the sheep. And the cars. Off we go again, everyone. So I'm only going to do a little bit because I've got a bit of running out of battery now and I forgot to put the charger in my bag again. <sighs> of course, this road I'm on now crosses, or I should say cuts across the strawberry line. That's what I remember. Although I didn't know this was the Puxton Road at the time. So, when I get to a bridge, well, I'll see a sign for a strawberry line. The strawberry line will be heading in this valley somewhere. Because <clears throat> there'll be Congressbury and Yatton and all that over that way. I'm beginning to learn my way around. It's amazing how you live somewhere, you might drive everywhere. But until you have to actually come to plot your way, you don't see what's on the ground and all the little ins and outs, the little features you miss, the landmarks, the smells. I can see Crook's Peak, it won't come out on my camera, but it's 
right in the valley there in between those two hills and I'll be cycling well not round it but not far from it along the strawberry line going through the tunnel which I went through last week and which had now got lights in the in the road cat's eyes now over there I've cycled all this now I'm getting round the valley this valley then the next valley different parts of the levels I'm doing not Glastonbury levels way yet right I'm just going to get around this corner then I'm going to be turning off because I don't want to waste not waste this isn't a waste but um, as you can see there's lots of there's an old farm there look, lots of walkways you can walk anywhere here a big posh farm that they've got statues and everything and the other half live look nut tree farm that's called he's doing their own little features just like Sturton House they had little features like that it's nice though isn't it it's another little reference point nut tree farm there's a heron there taking off look I don't know if it'll come up on the camera there's a heron flying just come up out of a rain, going up in the air a bit. He won't come out on the camera. If he's coming this way, he would have. Events in the world, Gaddafi's still um, confronting his rebels, and um, HMS Cumberland, a friend of mine's on it, has been rescuing the SES. <laughs> Oh dear. It's lovely though going out where you don't know. Exploring where you've not been before. And it and the smells. There's another farm here. What's that Nye farm? Nye. Yeah, this is a lovely little lane this is. This is a really good idea coming here. This is nearly as good as the um, strawberry line, if not flatter, folks. Look at that, I've got the whole lane to myself. It's worth coming this way, avoiding those great busy roads like I did when I went to Banwell last week. <sighs> I love the reeds, they look so graceful, don't they? Something coming, hold on. You're going to get the old uh, four wheel drive going along. Um, so this is lovely, isn't it? Yeah, but of course, you, you know, it's a good hour cycle for me to even get to this stage, see? Right then, I'm going to turn off for now. Over and out for a minute, everybody.